Hi everybody, this is Sakura Cherry 710. Yes. <laughs> I don't have a professional camera, I'm just using my phone. So I don't know if I got my face right. <laughs> well, let me update you about my garden. So I cut the yard yesterday, trim it because it was such an eyesore the grass they're really really overgrown now i can see the beauty of my garden yeah so i have a total of like 11 race bed and um, in gardening i don't really um like parang ocd no i mix things up so in one garden bed like this particular one, I have clusters of tomato and actually in the bottom I, I grew some radish also. Let me walk you through. So, so these are the beefsteak variety. Look at that. Actually, there's one beginning to ripen already over there, all the way down. I don't know if you could see it. But, yes, this is my, and I have the sunflower creeping up. This is another cluster of tomato. I only have a few. Um, this one is actually a volunteer. I used to buy my tomato in the commissary and I buried the food scraps here and all of a sudden this tomato just started growing this is my bitter gourd or ampalaya I have harvested at least three yesterday and um, so far so good they're thriving in the heat and I got one more over there I don't know if you could see it uh, it's quite dark right there you go so there's a baby bitter gourd and I'm really trying to take care of this vegetation because quarantine lisod baya mamalit so I encourage you guys to start growing even in the pot yeah gamay nga luna liha sa inyong yuta pwede ka ay mo garden no so I love gardening. This is this is my passion, one of my passion. I love singing too. It used to be my job. And um I also love painting. <laughs> but it's mostly like flowers and landscape. And then more tomato here. This one's kind of like Oh, it's ripening! It's so exciting! Look at that! Yeah. That is cool. So I have two candidates to harvest. So I'm gonna let it be. So that's my bitter melon. There's only like three plants in there. And this is my sun gold cherry tomato. Very good for salad. There's quite a few in there to be harvested. There you go. Anglad, of course, the superstar. <laughs> Alogbate, they're still small. Uh, we call it here Malabar spinach. And here too, they call this one lemongrass. Panglad good way. Okay. Yeah. We did a good harvest on that. I will wait. I want more. So, this tomato is beginning to ripen right there. There's a bunch of them. Love the wind. Uh, this is my high eggplant. Been waiting. I'm helping it out. I'm really like uh, propagating, not propagating, but pollinating the the flower 
because sometimes the bee doesn't come. This is my lemon basil. Sabi ni saya pa sangig mauna <laughs> paborito kin ako na sagol law oy okay more more eggplant here Thai eggplant this is the pur purple variety and I also have the green one and this is the cluttered uh, area but I, plants are happy when they're in clusters so that's my opo or kakuja long haired bean or balatong I mix it with some peppers here in between and when I see something like a disease leaves like that I pull it out that's my rosemary very good for steak really really good and delicious you buy it in a store in an organic store like in sprouts Maybe around like four clips like that. That's four bucks. Yeah, because it's organic. So that's how I grew my vegetable, guys. Grew it in an organic way. It's not hard. Gather your food scraps just like that. The dried, dried leaves, dried twigs like that. You can use it and mix it with the green along with your food scraps and they break down easily and oh namulak na akong upo yes there is another patula ah no ah yes this patula and I also planted this uh, Japanese Japanese yell Japanese squash yes another eggplant right here and more sangig. I love sangig. I planted a bunch of banana pepper. It tastes good for um, sinigang and paksiw. And my uh, green onion. Uh, they love the cold. So, medyo nasyak an ona siya because I transplanted it. I move it three times. I can make up my mind this is my mint mint is very good for you um, make it as a tea you mix it with uh, fresh egg roll for that uh, Vietnamese egg roll that is really good Kang Kong is doing well it's doing well and also the moringa which is malunggay Okay, it's sprouting from the bottom. Really, really love it. This one as well. These are my extra um, banana pepper. And my moringa also. It's coming to life. Yes, guys. And this is my two-year-old lemon slush calamundi calamansi. I don't know which one which. We'll find out once they start fruiting because I just dropped the seeds in there. But I'm planning to move this one into the ground that way it could grow and really like uh, go wild and turn into a tree. So those are my little plants in there that I have saloy up there. I'm gonna move that once it's big enough. So, let me walk you through to the next garden bed. <laughs> Sorry about the movement. I don't have a steady hand. This is my passion fruit. Passion fruit, high in vitamin C. I'm not allowing it to fruit out yet. That's why I'm plucking the flowers out because I wanted it to go and explore vine out first. Yes any vining uh, fruit you allow them to grow first before allowing them to fruit that's my patola yes I have them on the edge where they could climb 
and I have my sweet potato that I uh, I propagated it myself yep I love this type of potato it's the Okinawan sweet potato really really delicious I wanted to explore more maybe next time that would be my next project I want the purple purple uh, sweet potato when you open it it's purple inside that's purple too but it's just the skin is the purple this is my um, another batch of long yard bean or balatong and in between I have okra so I like I told you I'm not OCD in gardening so I mix things up I have my cayenne pepper and more okras and a sunflower here Ah, di to makulong kung isagul sagul na sila. Okay? And here also, this is kale. Kale is a super food too. For, there is a US, they said this is a super food. But moringa, which is malunggay, surpasses kale. The next one is saloyot. I think this one is the fourth or the third. Okay? And the more, more, more sweet potato. Yes, the more, the better. So sweet potato, since this one is still surviving and I'm still able to harvest, so I keep them until they're done. And uh, this one would cover the whole bed. So uh, I'm sh <laughs> getting a, a shade from my sunflower. It's actually about the flower guys let me show you the buds right there this one too it's gonna give me a lot of flowers this way add beauty to the garden swiss chard rainbow swiss chard very good prolific high in vitamin k you guys should start growing this and very easy to take care of all you gotta do is bury food scraps in between the plants and they're set. You see my secret? I have extra, extra kale within the plants. Yes! So, I planted this since end of October and it's still here. Right? And the weather here goes up to 107 degrees. Mm-hmm. This one, I'm preserving this part, area, it looks like empty, right? Because I'm um, still waiting for my um, Egyptian spinach with a saluyot. More eggplant right here. More kale. And I have my, what do you call that, rosemary squashes in there. See the fruit? Yeah. And, uh... Another tomato. I put it there. This my uh, first time growing this Armenian cucumber, and I'm really, really hoping to harvest soon. Uh, it started flowering, exploring. I'm guiding it to go up, trellising. Uh, I know the fruits is quite big, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm excited about that one. I'm excited for all of this. These are all blessings. Uh, this moringa, <laughs> let me tell you a story about this. I started it from seeds when I was in Florida. Then when it's time to PCS, I brought this here. It was quite well, like it was doing really, really good. Pero pag man siya tungo sa kainit. But I'm trying to revive it. So... It's still getting there, reviving, okay, so guys when I come to my garden, I check the leaves, flipped it like that, trying to look if there's any like wormy wormy, worms of course, so I normally kill them, don't want them to eat my plants and kill it. Another lemongrass. I love lemongrass. Zinnia flowers growing. Yeah, I should plant more zinnia. And my ginger is 
coming. Scraping up okra, peppers, mixed it. And I even have over there, this is a beautiful amaranth. Amaranth is beautiful. Color. And you can eat it. Yeah. That's the beauty of it. So I'm excited for that. So. This Armenian cucumber comes from Armenia, of course. And it's hot over there. And they said this one do really well in the desert. So that's why I'm growing it right here. And voila! It's about to flower. My balatong long yard bean. It's doing pretty good. More squashes here, guys. I actually pollinated it this morning. Oh, I need to help that out because it's open already. So I will pollinate that also. So I have a see fruits everywhere. Watermelon. Second time growing watermelon. First time I didn't have any success. It fruit out and then it got rotten. Uh, but this time I'm gonna make sure that I'll do my research. That way I could be successful. There you go, eggplant. You are opening your flowers. So now we're gonna help it pollinate. Eggplant actually is a self pollinator, but sometimes um, the flowers will drop because you're gonna help it sometimes, like shake it a little bit that way. It would develop its fruit. I don't know what this is, but it's fruiting. <laughs> I need to pollinate that fruit. Look. Okay, I'm gonna help that out. Oh, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I just dropped the seeds and I don't know anymore what they are. Um, okra. Okra. Quite healthy. Of course, it's healthy because I buried food scraps before I planted, you know, my vegetables on top. And they're set for a while. And I still gather my food scraps. And then, in between these plants, you put your food scraps in between. That way, they could pull nutrients, you know, in between the plants. And I'll do a video with that too. I think I did, but I haven't posted it yet. But I will soon. And um, I'm also taking care of this grapevine. It's a one year old. So the first year, you don't want it to fruit out. I mean, it was trying to give its fruit, but I want it to vine out first, which kind of late when I decided to take up the fruit it was concentrating on developing its fruit already but um, that's okay I can try again and my malungai moringa okay. waiting for it to to bloom this one this one is actually have selling sing quite slow but eh you just have to be patient. That's how gardening is. In life, that's how it is too. So, it teaches you, gardening teaches you about life, teaches you how to be patient, teach, teaches you many things. Science, math, whatever. And I like it because I was able to cut the grass. The eyesore grass. I still need to come back to check and, and fix that because there are some sticking out. Uh, don't worry about those. <laughs> it came from underneath the garden bed because I, that's how I lay the garden bed. I put a bunch of, uh, what they call that, uh, boxes to invite the worms and at the same time to protect the weeds from coming in inside the garden bed. So, and if they do, you just pull them, right? So, yeah, 
this is what I have guys garbage truck is coming to pick up the garbage oh see it's doing good that's my Malabar spinach alugbate dunay usadid to nga nagkahinog na siya o gipaak og wormy ang usa or the bird got a hold of it I don't know but it got bit by something but I took care of it oh I think it's the the weed eater that I did yesterday so that's what we have guys and you want to see the ampalaya hanging there let me show you the bitter gourd yay bitter gourd and then where's the baby that one oh, they're clustering in here i'm gonna help it out um uh, yeah there's two of them that has hole the bird the bird loves to pick too uh, good thing I'm able to come here and rescue it but um, look at that it is ripening and this one is going headed to that route getting ripened so um, I'm happy with that more and more and more sun gold going wild I love it it's nice this one I was able to help it out this morning and love that lemon grass I need a lot of lemon grass because I I love lemon grass I always cook it with my soup or make a tea make a tea out of it Look what my hubby got me on Mother's Day. Hammock and weed eater. <laughs> you see it, guys? I mean, I don't know if you could see everything, but there's a lot of fruits in there. And this one is really huge. I'm going to weigh it before harvesting. There's two of them that are huge. So, love it, love it, love it. So, if you like this video, please share and subscribe to my channel. And I'll be posting more videos on how I achieve this type of uh, gardening and how easy it is. It's not hard. And by the way, I build my own rakes with two to save money. Uh, I don't measure. Everything is eyeball. Yep. Doesn't have to be perfect as long as you can grow. But my husband said it looks perfect. Well, I guess because he's my husband. So, that's all I have for today, guys. Thank you. Be blessed, everyone. And start gardening you can ask me any questions about gardening i will walk you through how to start and how to get things done okay besides a tea race even though your yard is so small you can garden i'm telling you you can grow start with like even just green onions yeah i'm gonna sit down in my hammock okay so that's all I have for today. God bless you all. Bye.